What's up, Interstate Gang? My name is Skylar, and I am Jermaine Bonus' daughter, and I am a member from Western Stars Drill Team from Dayton, Ohio. And I would like to see, can you please support me and my team? And we are selling popcorn to all my popcorn lovers. You cannot miss this, and it will be shipped to your house. And I want to make sure you like, subscribe, and the link will be down below. Thank you, guys. Drive safe. <laughs>
truck don't look so bad being dirty, y'all. <laughs> but uh, we load it. It is 12 o'clock. I got in the door about 9.30. They got me out of the door about 11. So we fully loaded. I think we got vegetables or something like that. Frozen vegetables. So, reefer working right now. Late night, late night. I want to start hitting it right now and getting to it. But, to be honest, I don't want to neglect my body any type of sleep. I know I need sleep, so take me a nice little nap and then we're going to hit it. We got uh, 468 miles actually because I'm going to go across. I'm going to go across 30 and take that all the way across Ohio, get to the eastern part of Ohio. So, but uh, we got to walk through this traffic office. Get the paperwork. And uh, I think, I don't know what our weight is. I'm sure we're about between 35 and 42 for sure. So I definitely want to walk across Indiana at night. Because, man, you go across 30 in Indiana, man, it ain't nothing but lights, y'all. Lights, lights, lights. And they stay, I, I, I noticed that they stay green rather than changing at night because there's no traffic, you know, so. But tomorrow, well, actually today's the holiday, 4th of July, so I don't think it's gonna be a lot of traffic anyway, so it'd be good for that flight. But let's get to the traffic office, grab the paperwork, see what our weight is, get a nap in, kind of refresh a little bit, and then we're gonna get on up out of here probably about is it 12? I say about between 2 and 3 in the morning. So I don't want to leave no later than 3.30. Eight hour ride. Yeah, because I want to be done by 11, 12. So, but I do go ahead. So, yeah. But let's grab this paperwork. And uh, we're going to get that nap in. <laughs> oh, man. Good morning, y'all. I know what I said last night, 3, 3.30. I didn't even set my alarm clock. So my body got up at 6.30, y'all. <laughs> but we got plenty of time. We'll be over there at 7. It's our appointment time. We got an eight-hour ride. It's 6 over here, so we still get over there a few hours early. But <laughs> my body said, nah, bro. We're going to go ahead and get some more sleep. You've been playing around, man. You ain't been sleeping, so we're going to go ahead and sleep, man. So... But uh, just looking over the truck real quick, get moving, get on down there about 294, then hop on 65 and then grab 30, go all the way across, and uh, that'll take us all the way to where we need to go. So, beautiful morning, happy 4th of July. Hope y'all enjoy y'all 4th of July with family and friends. and fireworks and all that stuff i can't tell you how many fourth of july's i done missed man just trucking and trying to chase my dreams man and go to the next level i miss so many fourth of july's man it's crazy but let's get up out of here let's get on down there 294 let's make our way y'all uh trying to figure out if i'm gonna get i think i'm gonna get my truck washed tomorrow after i make pickups i don't think i want to do it now because i might catch some rain so we're gonna be dirty for about another day then we're gonna get clean, y'all. Let's get up out of here.
the Mr. To the Mr. Fuel uh, Exit 6 Right before you get into Gary, Indiana A couple exits down to exit 9 Where I usually go to Petro But uh, I seen Mr. Fuel Because I pretty much unused My $1,500 limit for the week I'm at like $1,322 So I got a comp check with like $380 something dollars on it I'm going to go ahead and use that Get this for $379 Petro down the road on the pump price is 405, y'all. It's crazy. Fuel don't went back up, shot back up that quick. So you got to get it when it's good too. You got to get it when it's good, cause it's definitely gonna go back up instantly. So we are gonna get like, uh, I say maybe about 75 gallons. Nothing major. 75, 80 gallons. But I'm, I'm gonna fill the reefer up too. And this is pretty much take care of everything. Get us down there, empty out, half out, maybe a little over three fourths quarter tank on the reefer since we had continuous. And then uh, from there, run all the way down to Cincinnati, do all our pickups, which is like 200 and some miles away, then like 100 and some miles up to the dock. So we're gonna knock some little miles down. Get this fuel, y'all. Get back on this road. Keep going. Mr. Fuel. Exit. Well, exit, is this. exit six again. subscribers over there man the yellow volvo man cool dude from florida man but we getting back to it y'all we getting back to it let's keep hustling making our way over there we got a long day we got a long night it's part of it though man sleepless nights i'm happy i got me about four or five hours of sleep y'all i feel good I feel, man i'm telling y'all y'all don't know how long it's been since i got about five hours of sleep and I feel good, y'all. I feel good. But let's get up out of here, y'all. My man right there in the blue, man. Good to meet you, bro.
State Route 42, man, some of the most windiest roads, man. When I say these roads are like, the curves are like 15 miles an hour. And they just, you know, super windy. They go up and down. Negative 10. Truck number? Three. Three? Yup. Boy, it's raining out here. Boy, I've been in number rain for the last two days, y'all. Last two days. Need to drain them tanks, too. But it's cool, we get washed up tomorrow, we doing the whole deal. We polishing, we doing everything, bringing the wheel out. We getting ready for the weekend. Cause I know this week, gonna be a better week for us, y'all. Gonna be a better week. So, I ain't upset. If I can, I might get up to Greg's and see if he can rewire those lights for me. I might see about that though. If I'm not, if I don't get out of interstate too late and then keep pushing. <coughs> but yeah, I've been in rain last two, three days. Ever since I lost my wash on two, was it Tuesday or Monday? I think it was Monday. Been in rain non-stop. So. <clears throat> Let's 
let's wait on this paperwork, y'all. All right, y'all, we got dock door 335. Same rules over here. Dolly down. Do all of that crazy stuff that they want you to do. Disconnect. Do all of that. There's not a lot of people here. Yeah, he made it. He wanted me to know like, hey man, when you get unloaded and it's green light, don't hook back up and grab your trailer to close the door. Nah, listen man, we ain't doing none of that man. It's just one full truck load but I'm definitely gonna turn that reefer off. <coughs> I'm not gonna just have a reefer running. I won't pull away, I ain't in no rush. Dog door 335. Then I gotta fill out all that information on there. I can do that when I get up in there. Walmart, hmm, about two hours. I say about two hours, y'all. Two hours. It ain't a lot of people here either. Not a lot of people at all. Three thirty-five. Three thirty-five. I go out, y'all. Like that Freightliner bull. Yeah. Yeah, don't put me in between nobody, man. I ain't trying to do all that. Let me get a spot by myself. Oh, man. Ah, oh, that's cool. All right, cool. They got me right in between Prime and CRST. Ain't nobody next to me. Everybody be cleaning their trailers out, man. That is crazy. Oh, man. I'm gonna check my area, too, just to make sure we don't got any type of, like, nails or nothing sticking out. Make sure ain't nobody coming. been to this Wintersville, Ohio, let me know you guys' experience. Uh, pretty much all the Walmarts I've been to are pretty much all the same, to be honest.
7500 gonna get the job done. Let me hurry up and slide these tandems back up all the way to the back so them doors won't be over too long. I say, I should be out here quick, y'all. Like one, two, he just got his paperwork. Uh, like a few other guys grabbing their paperwork. Should be out here soon. Yes, sir. All right, appreciate it, man. That water dropped right on my head. <sighs> All right, y'all, let's wait on this. Hopefully we can get up out of here with some daylight. It's, uh, it's about 6.40. 6.40, what is it, about 6, let me see. It's all 6.34. So if I can be out of here by 7.30, close to 8. Appointment at 7, so just all depends on when they start unloading me, though. We'll see. But let's get back in this truck and I get back with y'all. As soon as we get empty, we're going to get up out of here. Head down to, then we're gonna grab 70. Yeah, we're gonna grab 70, take 70 all the way across to 270, then grab 71, take 71 all the way down. And I'm going to TBS Meats. I could just park in a dock tomorrow. We'll actually park in a dock tonight. So as soon as they get in, they could just load me up because I'm getting a lot from them pretty much like half the trailer I think and then uh the other spot right there in that uh, area too and then interstate so we'll see y'all but I get back with y'all as soon as we get empty get up out of here all right y'all it is uh 8 54 we are unloaded. Appointment was at seven. Like I said, about two hours, y'all. So, ain't bad though, ain't bad. It's better than most, I'll tell you that. It's better than most. If pretty much the whole industry was two hours, I wouldn't complain. But you know, it's hit or miss. Sometimes you got an hour, sometimes you got 45 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, six hours, 30 hours, 40 hours, all types. It's all over the place. But we out of here before, you know, a couple people that we seen when we pulled in. So, grabbing the paperwork. And then, uh, we got 250 miles to our first pickup tomorrow, y'all. Friday, we'll make week six. And, uh, we moving right along, y'all. Week six. Week six. So... <clears throat> knocking it down eight more weeks which is two months so 
We're gonna get through it, y'all. We built for it. It's all mental. Ain't nothing about it. Ain't nothing to it. Let's get this paperwork. Pickups in uh, Cincinnati, Kentucky area, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and get down there, sleep in the door at TBS, pick up in the morning, y'all. Let's get down there. Alright, y'all. Made it to our first pickup. See up there. Back working. I'm telling y'all, I know my truck, y'all. <laughs> know my truck. Uh, pick up at 7 30. I don't know if I'm about to lay down or what, y'all, but we in for we in for a super wash. We need a super super wash, y'all. I can't wait. Drop a trailer, doing the whole thing. I'll get her all the way together, though. One thing about my truck when it's dirty, it's dirty, y'all. <laughs> and then when it's clean. She clean, so. But let's wait to pick up. It's about what is it about five by five a.m. By five a.m. I had stopped somewhere, took a little hour and a half nap before I got back before I got all the way down here. But uh, we good though. So let's wait about an hour or so. Pick up. And uh, we're gonna get moving. We got two more pickups after this. Alright, y'all. Got loaded. Uh, got a few pallets on. Now, the good thing about where I'm at, the next spot, because over here, I'm sure a lot of guys have been over here. You can get ice cream over here, you can get meat over here. You can get uh, a whole bunch of dairy products over here. You can get a variety of things over here. So uh, I got my meat right here, rice, stuff like that. Now I'm about to go through over here, go to my next pickup and pick up over there. I'm scheduled for 9 a.m. I'm gonna go ahead and check in now, see if I can get loaded. No way. 
making them early morning pickups. I love when I can do it super early and get going, man. You can get more stuff done. I'm gonna hit up Greg, man. I know they busy up there, man. With I know they got a uh, that Pete in there for the head gasket, and I know uh, they got the other truck in there that they redoing. But I'm gonna see if he can. Uh, I'm gonna call him and see if he got some time just to throw some lights up in there and rewire them and get my lights back working on the backside. That way I can have those lights, man. I hate not having those lights. So I'm gonna see what he say. Let him not come up there. And I'll be up there pretty early, especially if Interstate get me out of there quick. But we'll see. All right, y'all, so I had two orders on this one. I picked up the other one over there. It's two CCIs, the CCI down there. And then this one right here that I'm out to bag into and then we'll shoot over the interstate. So, they told me door seven. That's seven at, that's five, six, seven. Okay, seven right there. Next to that Volvo. And they do everything from the inside. So, let's bag on up, get the door seven. They load from the inside. We all good to go. Slide my tandems back up. And uh, let's go get fuel right at the border. Got about $400. On comm check, so go ahead and put that in the fuel tank. Go to interstate and uh, then we head up to the docks. Let's go, y'all. Y'all see what I'm saying, y'all? It's gonna be, it's gonna focus and refocus and do all of that just because of the rain. It's gonna focus on the rain, then focus on the road. But we've been in rain all week. But look, our time coming, y'all. Our time to shine is coming, and I believe it's this upcoming week for sure. Starting tomorrow, our time coming, y'all. Gonna get this truck washed today. Rain supposed to pass today. Pretty much supposed to be sunny all week. But I just got fuel down there at the TA. Put about $380 in. I was at about a half a tank on both my tanks. That fuel is back up on the left tank. And uh, our right tank is at like uh, 91%. So 91% cool. <coughs> But, uh, yeah, it's the rain, y'all. But uh, we about to get on down here to Interstate. And then we're going to make our way up. Hopefully they don't call me with no, with no more pickups and all that. I ain't for that today. So we're going to hang it up to Interstate, get loaded. And then uh, call Greg, see if he can uh, do these lights today. Maybe he can wire them up for me. And then uh, go get our truck washed. And we're in the video down there, y'all. Get through Cincinnati right now, going down the hill. All right, y'all. See y'all when we get the interstate. Y'all, right, we just back into the door. They loaded us instantly, y'all. So we up out of here. They took care of us this time, so I ain't tripping. Let's get up out of here. Let's go get the truck washed. Might go to Greg's, though. I'm about to give him a call, y'all. Let's get up out of here. All right, interstate gang that's the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it uh just wasn't much going on this week especially having a dead head 400 miles to go pick up a load because everybody was just taking everything they probably wouldn't even negotiate but i understand people got to get home to their families they're trying to celebrate fourth of july or whatever so you know i was left pretty much dead in the water and Chicago land area was the only one that offered me anything and the rate on that was excellent even with me having a dead head 400 miles that's the only reason I took that low <clears throat> you know it still made sense on 400 mile dead head still made sense because if not I would have just went down to Chicago stayed down there until pickups but we got over to, uh, to Walmart <clears throat> grabbed some uh, some bananas some peaches some apples some water a hundred pack of microfiber towels. Cause a 40 pack of microfiber towels, they're thinner. These are thinner too, but I got more, you know? So the 40 pack just don't last me long. So I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna do it, I might as well get a hundred pack of them. 
lasts me a little bit longer. So I like the 40 pack of Kirkland's from Costco because they're a lot thicker. They actually last me a little bit longer. But other than that, uh, we're going into week seven. We're going to see the family next week. I'm excited about that. So, uh, but other than that, you guys, like, comment. Very, very important to comment, you guys. New subscribers. Subscribers that's been here from day one, from jump. Like the video. Continue to like, you guys. It's very, very important. We got to get Interstate Gang out, out there. It's just the best gang. I got a gang full of nothing but hustlers that know how to get money, know how to get it out the mud. You know, I, I got... I think I got the best gang on YouTube, man. You know, we real hustlers, y'all. We real hustlers. So we're going to make it happen. We're going to adapt to whatever going on. We ain't going to complain. We ain't going to cry. You know, we're going to get to it no matter what. So thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Let's continue to push Interstate Gang. Let's continue to push Interstate Made Me. Let's continue to push the channel out there. Let's continue to grow. Let's get big, you guys. And, uh... I know we can do that, y'all. And I'm going to keep putting the content out there for you guys. I'm going to keep, keep supporting y'all because I got people that come to me every day, you know, that need support. I support you guys. I answer all you guys' questions. I'm a humble dude. You know, no matter what, you see me out here. Like I always say, come holler at me. Come talk to me. I done talked to a few, a few of y'all for hours, you know. So I'm a normal person. I'm a normal person trying to make it as an owner-operator, you know. And ain't nothing special, you know. I just got it a little bit different, that's all. I came in the game a little bit different. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Make sure y'all do that. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you get a notification every time I drop a brand new video. But other than that, I love you guys. Keep hustling, keep grinding, keep getting that money. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.